All right, we are still at RSA 2017, and we have the most adorable story in the history of the security industry. Uh, two of our major ballers at Silence. We've got Chad Skipper. Chad, you are the, and I always get this wrong, the VP of? Industry Relations and Product Testing. And John McClure, you've got one of the cooler titles I think we have. You are? Our ambassador at large. <laughs> and you have to say it like that. You do. You have to lower that voice. <laughs> so you guys both came to us from Dell, we but did. Fair to say that you were on different sides of the same operation. Correct. Uh, so how do we explain this? So I was in the office of the CTO, and my job was to look at security strategy for the products that we sold to our customers, the 26 million endpoints that Dell makes. And uh, I started looking for um, things around advanced threat protection. So when you go to Google, and you say, who does advanced threat protection? 60 people raise their hand. I do it, I do it. So I started testing uh, these, uh, all these companies. And you know, the testing industry out there at that time, everybody was getting 99%. You remember those? Everybody was getting 99%? <laughs> They're all wonderful. Yeah. And yet, all... I, and yet I was still incurring these wounds that I shouldn't have been incurring if they were that wonderful. <laughs> right, so, so I was testing and I got a bunch of malware, a bunch of zero days, and I ran tests against all the vendors, and silence was just kicking everybody's butt, detecting all the zero days, detecting all the unknowns, and nobody was coming in even close. I mean, silence was beating everybody by 60 points. And of course, I go talk to Jeff Clark about it. I tell him I've never seen anything like this in my entire 25 career. So I started talking to Dell IT. And you're and at Dell. You're not I'm, in any way affiliated with Silence. I'm at Dell. I am not affiliated with Silence. I'm looking for a partner, something to sell that can block zero days, right? Malware. So I then began to, you know, talk to all the executives inside of Dell to include Dell IT, where John McClurg was the chief security officer. So I'm talking to his guys all about this, and. And I'm focused on the battle at hand. I've got actual APT coming at me. I've defeated them after some effort, in large part, begin, again, because my AV partner had failed me. So I'm remediating. I've got my roadmap. I've got my plans, my resources. I'm ready to do battle. I'm hearing something about this chatter of what this Chad Skipper is doing over there. But I'm also hearing these completely unbelievable figures. I've lived with AV that can only deliver 20%, 40%. But this 99.7%, that's, that's BS. I, I, I'm not going to be distracted by that. And you right. guys knew each other by org chart only. You weren't like having lunch together, hashing this out. I don't even know out. if we really knew each other by org chart, to be honest with you. Um, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was protecting Dell proper, and I was in research and development, developing products to sell to our customers. And whatever we sell to our customers, I'd committed to deploy and use internally. So when I heard he's mucking around with what we might be offering the external customer, I knew it was going to have eventually an implication for me. So I kept on testing, and I not tested once, but Jeff asked me, all right, if they're that good, test them again. So I go back and I test them again in November of, I can't remember, a few, uh, year ago or so back. Test them again in November, and the same results, right? Beating everybody by 60 points. Um, detecting all the unknown malware. I even put silence in a mode where it was a six-month-old model detecting malware that I just got that day. And they were still detecting all of this. So I, I increased the noise. Look, we got a partner with Silence. These guys are the guys to go with. And it got to the point that I wanted to be part of the company. I, I never seen any technology like this. However, I went back to Dell IT and I said, take a look at it again. So. This is where Mr. McClure comes in again. Look the look on your face. <laughs> You're thinking he's going to come in and pee in your pool. You're protecting this thing. Well, and I'm hearing an OEM relationship had been established. Yeah. I thought, well, great, this really seals it for me. I'm going to have to, to deploy that internally. I've got my roadmap. I've got my plans. I've got my resources. So I grab my curmudgeons, my security architect. I says, look, go get this solution. Take it back in our lab. Run what defeated us recently against it. And when it fails, come back and tell me that. And I'll leverage that in holding Chad and Michael Dell and everybody else off until I can get my critical actions taken care of, because I had some really important stuff to be doing. So the curmudgeons, they take the stuff back in the lab. A couple days later, they come back, and I don't recognize these guys. They've got smiles on their faces. 
I don't know who they. I, 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 I said, oh, this can't be good. <laughs> so they, you didn't break the right thing if you're smiling. No, I, and they can't, I said, what, what? And they said, well, boss, we don't know what to tell you. If we'd had silence in place, we would not have lost Christmas. All that in defense in depth and elaborate structures we're now trying to put in place to further enhance our position wouldn't be necessary. So he was right. Yeah, he was right. But you were right too. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm a war fighter. I'm pragmatic. I want. I don't want distractions when I'm in the middle of a battle, especially if it's BS. There's no way the 99.7 could be right. I've lived with deficiencies like 20 percent for too many years, almost two decades. So I now the adorable part comes. <laughs> you guys adorable. both happily ensconced in your ivory towers at Dell. You figured that this stuff, it works. Maybe we'll do something with this company, this interesting little startup out of Southern California. And then? Well, you know, uh, January of 20, January 1st, 2016, sitting on the couch, I was watching football games, contemplating my future. I was like, I got to be part of silence. I know I have a great job with Dell. Something about the technology was just pulling me over. I've never seen anything like it. So I start the decision, go down the decision. I call Stu, I call Glenn, I call, and we start working on this thing. And as soon as, you know, started, come on board in June of 2016, not thinking of seeing anybody from Dell that, that I had known. So I'm here I am on board of June 2016, in June of 2016. And then... And I'm about June, the same time frame, because I'm in the mindset, I'm not an animal lover. I want to kill the groundhog. By that I mean, I've been living in groundhog world for years, repeating every, every experience over and over again. I want to see the groundhog dead. And, and, and I'm, I'm the type of guy that I was tired of sacrificing the lambs to the wolves when it came to AV. I finally found a company that you didn't have to have any more sacrificial lambs. So we got the hippie and the hunter. He loves the animals. I want to kill it. Yeah, <laughs> so here we are at Black Hat. I'm fresh at Dell, and guess I see John McClurg at Caesar's Palace just right, right across um, the hallway. So I Actually, go. Actually, you're walking towards me. Yeah. I'm going. What are you? What are you? Uh, what you may have even had a silence. I, so you yeah, have to match the lapel. I have my lapel on. He had his. Lapel, and we're like, hey, John, how you doing? We're shaking hands. And he's like, I'm at silence. And John goes, I'm at silence. And we're like, you're at silence? He's like, I'm it's at It's like a silence. Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan movie. Suddenly, you know, the, the heartwarming music comes up. Yeah. yeah. So all of a sudden, we had no idea at all that I had no idea that John was joining silence. John had no idea that I was joining silence. And it really was, it, it was just two different stories on the compelling product that Silence has that led us out of a, a great company in Dell that wanted us to come and latch on to the vision of protecting everybody underneath the sun. It was truly a match made in malware. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> so now that you guys are here, again, you're, you're, you're fighting a correlated battle, but you are on different battlefronts. Tell a little bit about that. So, go ahead. Well, it's really, it's two paradigms that are coming to clash. The old paradigm of signature base, center of the universe, and all the forces that it's been influencing over the years, and this new paradigm where we abandon that, leverage AI and machine learning. Whenever an old paradigm is challenged by a new paradigm, you're going to see some class, classic tensions. There's going to be a need to re-examine the language in which we even frame problems or think about them or think about the criteria that would establish what's a superior solution to a, an inferior solution. So I'm out there working the language, the metaphors, the, the philosophy underlying this shift and this battle between paradigms where down in the trenches there's some very real pragmatic implications that one paradigm going up against another has to face. And one of those pragmatic implications is the testing absolutely. model and methodologies. And absolutely. And I'm out there battling and trying to influence uh, those to start testing for themselves. Everybody has their own architecture. Um, look, influencing the third party organizations out there that test us, that they need to get away from the archaic 1990 and early 2000s testings of traditional anti-malware and change those methodologies to really start testing things like machine learning. Um, and, and in order to test that, they have to break grounds. Look. The testing organizations, the only way for them to be able to test unknown malware is to create the malware themselves. And that's a very daunting task, but we've been successful. The AV test that was just released, those guys actually created their own malware. 
in their lab and they ran it against us and five other competitors and we blew them out of the water. Right? So the change is beginning to happen about uh, third party testing organizations seeing the need to adopt and adapt their testing methodologies to really be able to show that there are technologies out there that can truly detect unknown malware and silence is leading that charge. So we joke a little bit about killing groundhogs and protecting lambs, but there's a reason we're using those metaphors. We've, we're talking about some fun stuff here, but there's some hard science or some real data that you need to check out. Both of these gentlemen have written some interesting blogs. Groundhogs. Kill the groundhog. <laughs> the groundhog is dead. There we go. Uh -huh. Groundhog is dead. No more sacrificial lambs. And you got links to both of those in the comments below, so make sure that you check those out. Uh, also, you can find both of these guys on LinkedIn. Those are also hot below. Follow us. You can find us on Twitter, at Silence Inc., and always at www.silence.com. We're still at RSA. There's, I, I don't know if we're going to be weirder or more adorable than this, but we're going to keep looking for it. Uh, but then also keep following us throughout the year, because we got a lot of great stories. we got a lot of superstars like these guys, so lots more coolness to come. Stick around.